Now that you've ordered your equipment, and presumably now that it's arrived, you're ready to install software on the Raspberry Pi. What we're going to install on the Raspberry Pi is called Noobs, N-O-O-B-S, and what that stands for is new out-of-box software. This is software that we're going to put onto your Pi that contains a series of operating systems from which you can select. The first time you boot up the Pi, it will prompt you to pick the operating system you want, and at that point we're going to pick Raspbian when we're done. It's also worth noting here that if you pre-ordered the SD card with the software installed, with the noobs on there, you do not need to follow any of these steps. This is for anybody who's using an SD card that they had laying around or who simply ordered a normal normal SD card from the internet. One more thing to mention before we get started with actually installing the files onto the SD card is that if you do not have a means built into your computer for writing to an SD card, there are options for purchasing something where you can plug it into your USB drive, plug the SD card into that adapter, and you should be able to use that to write to the SD card. So if you don't have anything on board, you do have an option, and you're going to need to go and get that. First up, we need to download and install the SD card formatter. And the best place to go about doing that is to actually look at the Raspberry Pi's how-to guide. And that'll take you to the quick start guide here for the Raspberry Pi. There's also a very useful PDF guide as well that has a schematic here. And then as you scroll down, it gives you a lot more information about the hardware and about other things as well, including where you can go about getting the formatter. So I'm going to click on this link to take us to the formatter site. And from there, I will scroll down and accept the end user license agreement, which will trigger a download of the SD card formatter. And I'm going to skip ahead to when that's done downloading and we'll go through the installation. I've skipped ahead past the downloading and I have the SD formatter here on my desktop. And what I'm going to do next is open it up and then I'm going to pull the setup exe onto the desktop here. And from there I'm going to actually run the installer. It's going to prompt me as per usual about escalating to administrator. And then it's going to take you through a standard kind of install wizard. You can simply go ahead and accept the defaults and click all the way through until it's done installing. And once it's done installing, you're ready to move on to the next step. And I've skipped ahead to the conclusion of the SD formatter install wizard. And as you can see, here's the finish button, which I can go ahead and click. There was nothing that happened in the intervening time period, except that it ran through the installer for about 45 or 50 seconds. Now that I've done that, the SD formatter is installed on my desktop. But what I'm going to do is instead of going immediately to that, I'm going to go and download the noobs image in order to put on the SD card. In order to get noobs onto the SD card, I'm going to go back to the browser I had open previously, and I'm going to do a search again for the Raspberry Pi Quick Start, but this time I'm going to go to the actual Quick Start guide on the site, and that's going to have a link here for what to download here under Downloads, and this is the new out-of-box software guide. And so I want to go ahead and download this Noobs V134 zip. The version number may increment between when I'm recording this and when you see it, but this is what you want. So I'm going to click on this and it's going to start the download. And as you can see, this is a 1.3 gigabyte download, which is going to take quite a bit of time. So what I'm going to do is leave you at this point and we'll come back to it once this download has completed and is on my desktop. So now I have Noobs downloaded and the SD formatter installed. I've also gone ahead and plugged in my SD card so that I can format it. So what I'm going to do is launch the formatter, which wants to run as an administrator, so I'll let it. And then when the formatter launches, I'm going to see that it finds my drive here, and it's a 7.39 gigabyte drive, which is... Um, because of the boot volume and whatnot, not quite eight gigabytes that we ordered, but there it is nevertheless. And what I'm gonna do is opt for this quick format just to get it ready for the uh, noobs that we're about to install on it. So there it goes through the formatting, and as you can see, that happens quite quickly, and then we're done. And the disk is, the uh, SD card is now primed for noobs to be installed on it. 
So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to open the noobs directory, or the noobs zip file, and see that this is the root directory of what will be the operating system based on the SD card. Now I'm also going to pop open the SD card itself on disk, and there it is, volume named recovery, and there's nothing in it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all these files over onto the SD card. And now this is going to take quite a while to copy because of their size. So you can see that it's copying and I'll let you go and we'll return to this once the copy is complete. All right, it took a little while, but all the noobs files are successfully moved over onto the SD card that is accessible from my computer. And the one last thing I'll mention before completely being done putting all of the files onto the SD card is that you're going to want to safely eject this media in order to make sure that nothing goes wrong. After all, this is your hard drive. So you go here and say that you want to safely remove the hardware and it's going to give you the option as to which you want to remove and you eject the disk in question. And now you get this message saying that it's safe to remove this hardware. We can pull the SD card then out of the computer and put it into the Raspberry Pi, which I am about to show you next.